thing scared the hell out of me. We've had lots of visitors. In terms of saving a building, what is the uh, what are the stories that a building can tell you? Good for you, bye Val. Welcome to the Gooey Duck Mural. This is September 2011. Three years after the first mural commissioned on this barn by Dwayne Dietz and Pat Kane. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dwayne. This is my wife, Pat. Pat. Two amazing patrons of the arts here on Vashon Island. And, um, yeah, Dwayne called me up a few weeks back and said, hey, we're ready to do our next mural and we want it to be an apocryphal advertisement <laughs> for uh, Captain Vashon's Maritime Elixir. <laughs> and, uh, Is that what it says? Good, good, good for your vibe. For your vibe. Oh. <laughs> <your> <laughs> I thought that sounded like a good plan. So we sat down and looked over um, some inspirational source materials like old luggage tags and um, kind of travel insignia from the 1920s through the 40s and old lettering styles and um, tossed around some ideas. Uh, this was originally uh, a drawing of Captain Vashon. In the uncharted rocks and shoals and pinnacles that rose out of un fathomable depths here in the Northwest. Uh, it, was, it was named after Captain James Vashon, who I don't believe ever saw Puget Sound. I'm pretty sure he was back in England doing his thing, but uh, there was a Captain James Vashon, and uh, so we created this personage with a pipe and a seagull on his shoulder and a dripping hat, and, uh, and then I started talking about gooey ducks, and it all changed. And um, so we ended up with Captain Vashon's maritime gooey duck elixir in the spirit of the place, since there are a lot more gooey ducks around here than than Captain Vashon's. So this is Gunner the Gooey Duck. We've named him Gunner Erskine because, you know, he really needs a name. And unlike the chicken logo, which was based on a historic uh, thermometer at the museum, this one's just totally out of the blue. It's sort of uh, literally out of the blue. <laughs> but the idea that you, there's a, a real history on the island and there can also be a number of sort of uh, alternate realities of history and sort of that's what I like about the idea of the gooey duck elixir is what what if you know Captain Vashon had stayed on the island and <laughs> gone into the patent medicine industry <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the type that we ended up using is uh, take off on some uh, lowercase and capitals by dart hunter he was a, kind of a precursor to um, and participant in the arts and crafts movement. Um, so he was working many decades ago, but he influenced uh, plenty of uh, lettering and advertisements of his day. Uh, he was also one who was, uh, his style was drawn heavily on by uh, fellow I've had the pleasure to meet, David Bird, who designed um, a lot of the posters in the 70s for the Fillmore East. Um, he did the original Woodstock poster. So this uh, typeface has quite the illustrious history and it works great for this, the period that we're going for, which is vaguely 1920s, 1930s. Um, it works quite well for that. Um, Dwayne pulled out a, uh, a whole sampling of 
trademarks from the 1920s and 30s, so uh, Gunnar's got a pretty authentic uh, smile and eyes from that period. So, uh, you know, we're evoking the, the feel of a time. Yeah, I just got, yeah, I just got my master's degree in historic preservation. It's the idea, um, you know, in terms of saving a building, what is the, uh, what are the stories that a building can tell you? Uh, and sometimes it's real, sometimes it's not, but you, you do what you can to try to save the historic fabric of the, of the building. And I think what we've done with the barn, it has the false storefront. It sort of mimics the buildings that are over in center with the old barn structures. Um, so we're trying to sort of stick with the character of the island. So the barn's an interesting mix of historical and ahistorical. Um, Dwayne was talking to a colleague of his, also in historical preservation. I've got the story right, and she asked him why the uh, barn here wasn't on the historic register. <laughs> they said it's because it's five years old. <laughs> it, uh, it has this beautiful false storefront on it, but it was really built as a, uh, a work and a storage space. There's a beautiful workspace upstairs. Um, and then on the outside, of course, it's got this collection of signs and, um, you know, really especially tin signs from different feed stores and agricultural equipment manufacturers throughout the years. Some of them are reproductions, a lot of them are originals. Um, and then, of course, we got the mural around the other side, Vashon Cooperative Chickens, that's quite historically accurate. And this one that only appears so. <laughs> but this one came from a thermometer, uh, kind of like a, kind of like the pens that you have on the desk at the insurance company with, you know, Ace Insurance Company written on them. Well, they, they had uh, thermometers for all the uh, member farms of the chicken cooperative here on Vashon that lasted through the 40s. And Dwayne found an old one at the Historical Society and um, had me adapt it so it says chickens instead of chicks. Um, Patton, I think, I think it should stay chicks. <laughs> but we do have a lot of people stopping by to photograph the chicken one. It's showing up on Flickr now. Really? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's becoming, uh, well, I guess once it hits the internet, it's it's widespread. <laughs> but this will be fun. And working with Annie on the design, she we had the idea of the elixir, the Captain Vashon. She's the one that came up with the bottle. And then the last meeting we had, we changed out the, the wink and the smile, so it had more oh. of a 20s character to it. But, you know, she came up with the anchor. I mean, it's a great sort of collaborative effort, and then mm -hmm. she's takes it to the next level past yeah, that. It. So it's a, it's a conversation starter, that's for sure. And the same guy brought a uh, historical photo of his grandfather's fishing boat by this morning, so it's neat that it, uh, this becomes kind of a nexus of conversation and stories about historical memories of everyone who passes by.